Miss lawyer Kim Kardashian has just unveiled her new true crime podcast Kim Kardashian's The System, the case of Kevin Keith and the timing is certainly something. The podcast, which is a Spotify exclusive, focuses on Kevin Keith, a man who was arrested and charged for a triple homicide in 1994. There is no physical evidence exclusively tying, Kevin, to the crime, yet he has spent 28 years of his life behind bars, with many of those on death row, the podcast series description reads. Kevin's brother Charles has always been convinced of his innocence, and to this day, works relentlessly to clear Kevin's name. So, what does Kim Kardashian have to do with this? According to the podcast description, Kim will be taking her passion for prison reform to the next level by exposing cracks in the criminal justice system. Specifically, by narrating this story and interviewing Kevin himself. Over eight episodes, Kim and team will take a deep dive into the case, raise important questions, and try to shed light on a legal system that can often be deliberately puzzling, the show's description continues. Though it's said, innocent until proven guilty, was Kevin Keith really given a fair shot? Draw your own conclusions in this twisted, heartbreaking, and at times, unbelievable story. Kim Kardashian being a cop was not on my 2022 bingo card but I'll take it. Keith was convicted and put on death row within three months of the 1994 shooting, where five-year-old Marky Chapman, her mother Marichal Chapman and Marichal's aunt, Linda Chapman died. He was convicted because police thought he had motive. Rudolph Chapman, a family member of the deceased, was a police informer who gave info about a drug raid that saw Keith arrested and charged with selling cocaine. According to a website dedicated to his justice, the story of his conviction is way messier than it seems. It mentions drug busts, police cover-ups, a love triangle between a cop and an informant, and abuse of the death penalty. Oofed. In the 30 years since his conviction, Keith maintains his innocence. You can read more about him and his legal bid here. As noble as Kimmy's podcast sounds, it's worth noting it dropped within hours of news breaking that Kim had been pinged for dodgy crypto spawn con. She now has to pay more than $1.5 million in penance for fanging dodgy ads, and e. News reported on whether it would affect her career as an attorney. How funny that moments after, Kim Kardashian should drop a podcast which positions her as harbinger of justice. Honestly, give this PR team a raise.